Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out our Patch Tuesday update for Windows 11 24H2. And for March 2025, if we head into our update history, the update is KB5053598 and rolled out late yesterday in my region. And because the update is mandatory, just to have a quick look at the OS build update after this update has been applied by heading over to About Windows. And for Windows 11 24H2, OS build is 26100.3476 after the update has been applied. Now the updates that roll out on the second Tuesday of every month address security issues in Windows, as you may well know. And for 24H2, we get five security flaws that have been patched. And thankfully, there are no critical. And I think that's one more than 23H2. So five security fixes have rolled out for version 24H2. Now, this um, security update, as you may also know, will include the improvements that were part of this update, 505. 2093 that rolled out towards the end of last month and that included 10 new features and had fixes for audio and file explorer issues and a lot more and i posted a whole video on that so that'll be linked down below and in the end screen once again but just a quick recap for the purpose of this video now first of all the update will allow you to share files directly from jumpless on the taskbar uh, it includes two new spotlight desktop improvements which i haven't received yet and just on a side note while i'm talking about that these new features are rolling out gradually so you may see them you may not so some i have received some i haven't so it includes those two spotlight desktop improvements makes it easier to learn more about the image on your lock screen by clicking on the like button on your lock screen for that image of the day Includes new functions for narrator scan mode, which is an accessibility feature. Adds a new referral card on your home page um, in the settings for a PC Game Pass subscription on the settings home page. But just take note, obviously, you need to be subscribed with a Game Pass subscription to be able to see that. And I think you've got to be signed in with your Microsoft account as well. Now, if we head into our file explorer, the little start backup toggle in the address bar, if you right click on that now, you will have an option to either snooze or turn off the start backup, which I think is nice. But just take note though, that if you are backing up to OneDrive already, like I am, there will be no options, as you can see, to right click and snooze or turn off start backup. But if you're not using OneDrive, I think that is a nice move in the right direction. It also includes four file explorer fixes, which is always nice to see. And just on another quick side note, in my region, the see more three dotted menu is still heading in the wrong way. That still hasn't been fixed yet. I don't know why Microsoft is taking so long. And if you use your F11 key to uh, make your, your file explorer um, full screen, you can see something very weird here at the top where the content is overlapping the address bar. And that still has not been fixed yet. So I don't know why Microsoft um, is kind of lagging on getting those fixes out. It adds text scaling support to the HTML help viewer. And it also adds camera improvements. So for this, I'm just going to quickly use an image. And basically those camera improvements are, it will allow multiple apps to use the camera at the same time. And you can turn on basic cameras. So those are advanced um, camera improvements that are also rolling out. I haven't received any of those. That's just why I'm using a quick um, screen grab for the purpose of this video. It also includes three audio fixes. And an important fix is it patches an open SSD known issue, which is always nice to see known issues being addressed and a whole lot more. Go check the video out. It's linked down below and in the end screen. And that's more or less, guys, what's new in our latest update for 24H2 for March 2025. 
KB5053598. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.